Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to convert string builder object into string buffer object. Suppose we had this string builder object and suppose we have we want to convert this string builder object into string buffer object. So we can have string buffer object. We, we can try passing SBLR. So it won't work. It will not work directly. Because a string uh, builder object uh, mark is mark value. This is a string builder object and it belongs to a string builder class and SBR belongs to a string buffer class. So see it is printing mark. We can do one more thing. Uh, we can have a string object a string using to string. Uh, we are assigning as we are converting SPLR string builder object to string, and we are uh, assigning this uh, this updated string object, this converted string object into the string class object str, and we can pass str here also string, and it will print mark only. Okay. See, it is printing mark. So first, we will uh, go through the, this program line by line. At line number six, we are creating a, a string builder object mark, and we know string builder object uh, resides into the heap memory area only. SBLR, it will reside into the heap memory area. So mark will be present here. Okay, and and at line number eight, SBLR object will be converted into the string, and we are uh, assigning this converted string to string object. So first we will look for mark into the string constant pool area, string constant uh, me pool memory area. We all and we already know this string constant pool memory area is part of heap memory only. Okay. So we will look for mark value. Mark value is not present into the string constant pool area because with the string builder object mark value was created into the heap memory and heap memory is uh, the whole thing. But here at line number eight, we are creating object of string, so it will look for mark into into the string pool area, the string constant pool area. Mark is not present into the string constant pool area, so it will create the mark. Str mark will be created as a new object. Okay. At line number ten, what will happen? We are creating string buffer object, and we are passing str into the string buffer object. So we know a string buffer object is created on. On the heap memory only, as we are string buffer objects are created into the heap memory only. So we can we cannot we cannot refer to this mark object. We cannot refer to this mark object. We cannot provide reference to this mark object because mark object stays into the string constant uh, pool memory because we know strings are immutable and we know uh, he uh, we know string builder string builder class and string buffer class are mutable. So we can't give reference to the earlier existed mark. Okay, so new object will be created. Okay, so new object will be created. Mark new object mark will be created. Mark into the heap memory area. And at line number twelve, we are printing this string buffer object only mark. So let's run this program and again see the output. So mark is getting printed. Okay. So now we are going to learn about how to create a string buffer object into the string builder object. Okay. So first we will have a string buffer object, a string constructor, and in this constructor we will pass the value mark. Okay, mark, and we can directly convert this string buffer object into the string builder object like this object. Then we can pass the SBR here. Okay, and we can try printing this thing also. So it will print mark only. Because at line number six we are initializing string buffer object with the mark value mark string. At line number eight, what we are doing we are initializing string builder object uh, using the SBR string buffer object. We are passing a string buffer object as an argument argument into the string builder constructor. So string builder object will have mark value only. So let me run this program and see the output. See mark is getting printed. So uh, one more thing we can do, uh, we can convert uh, this string buffer object into the string like string str str equal to str dot two string, and now we are passing this string object into the string builder object. Okay, str we are passing. So what's happening at memory area? We will check first. We will see the output. Let's run this program and see the output. It will print mark. See mark is getting printed. So what's happening at the memory level? 
so we will execute line number six and this SBR will create the mark. So we are creating, we are initializing string buffer object with the mark values. And we know string buffer object getting created into the heap memory only. So SBR, this be, uh, mark will be created into the heap memory area. It will not be created into a string constant pool. And we know string constant pool is also part of heap memory only. Then at line number eight, uh, we are converting this string buffer to string and we are we are assigning this converted uh, string to a string object so we will have a string object into the string constant pool memory only so str will have mark value so first we will look into the string constant pool if mark is already exist or not we will have search for the mark value mark doesn't exist into the string constant pool area so we will create a new object mark so we are creating new object mark here we are not uh, providing reference to this mark object okay because this mark object is reside into the heap memory area and because string builder and string buffer uh, objects are mutable they can be modified they can be they can be changed but string objects are immutable they cannot be modified they cannot be changed so mark will stay into the string constant pool area okay so we have created new object mark into the string constant pool area and at line number 10 what we are doing we are initializing string string builder object and we are passing the string into the string builder constructor so and we know string builder objects are also mutable means this mark object will reside into the heap memory only as as we are so we are not uh, we are not creating reference to this string buffer mark into the string builder object. We are not providing reference like we could have provided reference like this. So SPLR is also pointing to earlier existed mark. So but we are not doing that because uh, string builder and string buffer objects are mutable. They can be changed. If I change into the string buffer object, then automatically change will happen into the string builder object. If I if I reference to the same object. If I change the string builder object like mark Zuckerberg, then string string buffer object will also have value mark Zuckerberg. So that is why uh, we are creating a new object mark. Okay. So let's run this program and see the output. It will output it will print mark. Okay. So we can see many differences between the string builder, string buffer, and string objects. So string object is immutable. String builder is mutable and string buffer is mutable okay and a string is less memory efficient a string builder is memory efficient and a string buffer is memory efficient okay and a string is thread safe a string builder is not thread safe uh, and a string buffer is thread safe and when we use a string object we use a string object when we want immutable immutable functionality with the object and we use string builder object when we want when we want to modify the object and we don't care about the uh, thread safe guarantee also then we use string builder and when we use string buffer string buffer we use when we want a mutable object and and we want a guarantee for thread safe also okay so these are the main differences between the string buffer objects and string builder object and string string object so I, I hope you understood it.